The sun is shining, albeit weakly, and the grapevines march a neat rose up the steep hillside. You could easily imagine yourself in one of the great wine-producing regions of France. But this is just a short distance from Strad, where beer rather than Beaujolais or Bordeaux seems more in keeping. Nevertheless, Woodchester Valley Winery and Vineyard is not only becoming part of the scenery of this corner of Gloucestershire, it is carving out a reputation as a maker of top-quality wines. Now the winery wants more local people to visit and see for themselves how the Cotswolds can produce wines every bit as good as those from Europe and the New World. Is supporting English Wine Week May 26 to June 3, a national campaign to raise awareness of English wine. There will be activities across the country in shops, restaurants and vineyards, where the new growing season has just begun. Woodchester Valley is owned by Fiona Shiner and her husband, Niall. They had been living in Hong Kong for 17 years when they returned to Britain to take on Niall's parents' property at Amberley. They hit on the idea of planting vines on an acre of their newly purchased land and began in 2007. Niall continued with his career, but mother of three Fiona threw herself wholeheartedly into learning about viticulture and learning how to drive a tractor. Despite the disappointment of a disastrously wet first summer, the little vineyard business prospered. It now has vines on 45 acres over three sites, the original one at Emberley, one near Stonehouse and what is now the main winery site at Woodchester, where 28,000 bottles of still and 21,000 bottles of sparkling were produced in 2017. More will be produced as younger vines mature. Two years ago the winery employed Jeremy Mount as its winemaker, and a former farm building was turned into a top-quality winery where all the wines are made. There's also a stylish modern tasting room with glorious views of the Nailsworth Valley. Here, visitors can sample the wineries produced, which includes sparkling wines and a still white from the Bacchus grape. It is a variety particularly suited to the English climate, and produces a crisp, full-bodied wine that rivals a good European or New World Sauvignon. The high quality helps break down the myth that English wines are second best. Fiona points out that although the industry in its present form is relatively young, wines have been produced in England for centuries, and there are references to Gloucestershire vineyards in the Doomsday Book. She hopes English Wine Week will help introduce more people to the delights of modern wines produced on these shores. It is a pity more people don't know about English wine, she says. But it is nice to see their surprise when they taste it. It seems, however, that word is spreading. One and a half million vines were planted in England this year, and production is expected to reach 10 million bottles by 2020. Woodchester is very much part of the boom. There are plans to plant another 12 acres, but Fiona is firm about the limits of her ambition. She wants the winery to remain a boutique operation where only the best grapes are picked by hand and the wine is lovingly made. To me, it's important to keep to the fundamentals and not get to the corporate level, and my heirs of Woodchester will be raising a glass to that. English Wine Week, www.englishwineproducers.co.uk slash news slash events Woodchester Valley, www.woodchestervalleyvineyard.co.uk